Let's use flat wire to make a cone shape on cone mandrels. First, I'd like to show you a corrugator. It's actually called a tube ringer. And what I will do is, what I have started to do, is to corrugate this piece of flat wire. It's a 21 gauge wire, copper wire. And I just continue to impress the corrugation on, on, the, uh, on the wire. I have one done here. What I'm going to do now is actually trim just the little edge off of it so that I can then put it into the cone mandrel in its own holder. So I'm going to put my glasses on for this application. And I am working with that uh, metal shear again. And I am going to just trim on the diagonal so I make a nice point. And of course, when you're working with metal, you want to make sure that you do wear a safety glass or some eye protection so that if there are any shards that fly off, uh, you're not hurting yourself or anyone else in the area. All right, so here is the point of the, uh, the 21 gauge flat wire. It's going into the holder. There's a guide hole right here. Uh, so the cone mandrel's in the holder and the wire's in the guide hole and this is the simple application, giving you lots of, lots of fun uh, coiling, actually. Your flat wire, corrugated, has work hardened, but you can still manage to uh, make a cone shape just with your fingers and the power of your wrist cranking the holder. Okay. A little bit of a shortened cone shape, but still a cone shape. I will take a flat nose pliers just to bring it around, force it down. Oops. Again, it's always good to wear eye protection. Or I could trim that actually. I could trim it with my shear or even at this point in time, I can trim it with a flush cutter. I cover my work. You can see that I have uh, almost a star shape. It's a very pretty shape, as well as a cone shape. I'll release that from the, um, from the mandrel itself. Again, using a cutter, holding uh, over where I cut so nothing flies off. And now I'll just trim again. Back of my cutter all the time to give me a better defined edge, which I can also use a needle file to kind of clean up. We still are wor working with metal, even though the metal is considered flat wire. I'm gonna place this down here, show you the shape, the star shape that you do get out of it, which is kind of nice. And here is uh, an application. I'll show you that this is done in a gold flat wire. And you can take any of these components and pull them apart so that you elongate the shape, maybe fill it in with some, some beads. Um, the, the flat wire works very nicely and it is, it does work harden. So do be careful how you approach it. Uh, if you're working with a bare copper uh, 21 gauge flat wire, you can embellish it, you can oxidize it. Otherwise, there are flat wires that are available, uh, copper coated, uh, coated, they're copper core and they're coated. The sample that I have here that I've worked on is uh, with a, a bronze color uh, copper and I cor uh, corrugated it using the large mandrel and did it in this particular design and then uh, worked it off of some copper sheet that I, that I half corrugated. Let me show you some of the other mixed media applications with cone mandrels. Now I'll show you mixed media applications using cone mandrels. The first would be this epoxy clay necklace and that is an epoxy, epoxy clay housing built on some copper screening as a tassel holder. The first thing I would do is create a template just as I did with the sheet metal. And I'll form copper mesh onto the cone mandrel that I choose, the size that I choose. And I'll use that as a structure and then roll out my epoxy clay, mix this a two-part epoxy, mix it together, roll it out, and then form it on that very mandrel. Could be in the holder or in a bench vise. You can then decorate, you can uh, apply it with uh, some uh, flat back crystals and let it dry. Works beautifully also in this application here, it's a half cone. What I've done is I've made sort of a petal shape out of the template and rolled out the epoxy clay in that design. 
The next thing I'd like to show you would be how to use flat wire again. But this flat wire is embellished. It's embellished with flat back crystals that have been ironed on, they're hot fix. And then after I have created the embellishment, I've wired it up with half round wire. And then the process is to again, place it on a cone mandrel, create these shapes. And lastly, let's take you back to basic beading. Here is a necklace that features a cone made with wired up beads and coiled wire integrated together, again, shaped on a cone mandrel. Thank you for being with me and I hope that you've enjoyed all of the cone making possibilities.